Yeah, last time on Persona 5 Royale. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Yeah, you better not have forgotten about the person you left here, Tsuka! It's fucking Chernobyl over here! There's red smoke everywhere and all I hear are screams of little children in the basement! Get over here, Collector, now! She's gonna kill us! Even Igor is panicking, he's barricaded us in the little cell at the end of the hallway! Get here now, Tsuka! Yeah, please listen carefully. You must come today. Otherwise, you shall very well lose that persona and everybody else. I'm not crazy, you're crazy! Especially you, Nappa! Hey. Someone clip that, please. Everyone that's a subscriber doesn't have the ad going on, but the ad's about to finish in a second. So, we're about to go live back in 10 seconds. Mm. 10 seconds. Mm. About 10 seconds. Mm. About 10 seconds. Mm. About 10 seconds. Mm. We love you, baby. Mm. About 10 seconds. Mm. 10 seconds. Mm. 10 seconds. Mm. About five seconds. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're back with Kuma and Jiggy. Okay, you can come here. You can ask in front of the camera. How would you call a person um, who's doing personal training? You call them personal trainer, right? But what about in general? What, what about the person who works for gym and go one, two, one, two? Um, personal trainer, if it's like one-on-one, -on -one, it can be a group trainer. They can still be a... No, I don't want to say group or personal. Training instructor. Training instructor, okay. Or a gym instructor. Training instructor. Or a fitness instructor. Fitness instructor. But it also depends on the class. Like, say for example, they're doing a martial arts no, class. No, okay. No, I'm talking about, talking about general fitness thingy. Go look how, look two, how she's one, listening to you. She's one, listening two, to you. One, two. She one, understands two, me. One, two, one, two. She understands me. Obantu, Obantu. What? Obantu, Obantu. What the fuck? You don't know what Obantu is? Oh, no. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Sounds like Japanese. Maybe. Um, so, Cheeky had this wonderful idea she was telling me. Since we have... I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Someone made the clip. That's beautiful. Cheeky had this awesome idea. Um, since we have a time slot... And we don't have many people to use it with, but we haven't maxed out our social stats. We can actually go and get one of those um, stat affinity readings from Ohaya or Chihaya, whatever her name is. And then go back to our room and play video games while Kawakami's making the things. And we can get a boost on guts by using the cheat codes we've got. Isn't that right, Chiki? And then we get maximum guts, and then we can go with Gun Daddy for the deal. Mm. She's so smart. See how smart she is? She's so humble. I heard a little leg crack a little bit. These little breeds, um, their joints are very shallow, so sometimes they actually dislocate or they get locked. So um, when I felt it like click a little bit, I was like, are you okay? And then I saw her move her leg just fine. It actually happened once. We were in the park. And her leg ended up basically locking. Her joint on her leg ended up locking. And she was just like looking up at me really scared and she couldn't move it. I'm like, oh shit. And then I felt it a little bit and it just popped right back in. And I called the vet and they said these small breeds have very, very shallow joints. So you can actually just unclick and then sometimes go right back in with no problem. And they said it's only a problem if it happens like multiple times in a month. And then they got to do a surgery. They literally grind a little deeper into the bone. So the joint's a little bit longer. That's what they do. Because they're small breeds, their joints are really loose. Yeah, that's what they literally do. So I was a little bit scared, but luckily it hasn't been happening. And they say it's not good for them to jump and whatnot, but Cheeky actually can jump. And so the strength around her joints is actually nice and strong. So it keeps the bone in. Because the muscles around the joints actually keep them tight. I know that happens to your dog too. Yeah, it's really scary when it happens. Especially as a dog owner, you're like, what the fuck? Let's do it. Oh, I really want to do Gun Daddy's event, so I really got to maximize guts. Unless there's an event that's going to maximize my guts spending time with people. No slacking off. Do I get guts if I spend time with the twins? 
Otherwise, I want to play the game for the guts so I can spend time with Gun Daddy. Does anyone know? In a non-spoilery way. Because I really gotta get, um, uh, guts for Gun Daddy. And I really want to get Gun Daddy. Like, I really- Oh my god. Marshmallows and chocolate. Did I get my reward? No, I didn't. Oh my god, no, I didn't. Let's do it. Can I get the reward later, or did I have to get it now? I didn't get the reward. Reward, please. Yo. How did the exams go? Perfect. Oh. So you can't judge a book by its cover, then maybe you need this. Take it. Oh, you can get it later? <laughs> finest coffee beans in. I wanted to give it to you before the exam, but while you still have more tests, don't give up on the finals. I can get it later? Let's just take a look what it does real quick. Um, the long charm. Contains boss's finest coffee beans. Nullify sleep. You can now beat Morgana! <laughs> oh my god, you just give it... We should actually give it to Morgana, as a troll. We should just give it to Morgana as a troll. Let's just double check that she's been taken out. How? I'll take care of him. Gonna switch to a different incense? Gonna switch to a different incense? You wanna release it? No, she's fine. Are you finished? What? Mona was even more sleep obsessed in Persona 5 Vanilla. I'm like, F that. Is time Could you believe if he was more obsessed, I would die. Right. Big Bang Burger Challenge gives guts. But what about the video game? We've never beaten it. Is the burger challenge the best way to do guts? See, I can do a verification test, can't I? What I'm actually curious. Oh my god, they just said for real. Um, I'm sorry. Close up shop for today. All right, another time. Um. Video game is the best right now. Then I'm gonna do video game. What shall we do? Luck rating. This is expensive. I'm going broke, guys. We need mementos and quick. Wait, did she take five? Oh, yeah, I had a six. Reading, uh, finishing reading Master Swordsman is the best guts game. Nico had to the uh, had uh, had to do the challenge for guts because it was the most full card. I'm getting different so opinions from think? different people. Some people are saying video game gives the most. Some people are saying the swordman gives the most. Some people are saying the big burger challenge gives the most. I'm getting mixed opinions here. What's going on? Sit on the toilet to see how far you are from Max Guts. Hey. I'm going to think. The day you can relax on the toilet. Well, you spend, they say you spend like eight months on the toilet during your lifetime, so. But with the modern telephone, I'm gonna say that's like 18 years. I should reflect for a bit. I've reached maximum knowledge, maximum charm, maximum proficiency. I'm definitely close to improving my guts. Maximum kind. So am I close? I should write something. We haven't even started reading it. <laughs> Swordsman is seven, but it's up on the complete. Forget gameplay. I want the gut. Hey. Let's try this. A heart without hesitance is the essence of Bushido. 
Mm. Learning about the spirit of a samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. Oh. We still got time. Keep reading. A heart that never backs down is the secret to Bushido. It seems like you're getting through the book quickly. The guide at the speed on reading quickly help. How far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. I didn't get anything from that? Hi. That's bullshit because it's seven at the end. You gotta finish the book? Oh, fuck off. That's two time slots. I wanted to do it within one. I hop back? I wanna hop back. I wanna hop back. I wanna go back. Oh, don't force me. No, it's a Tuesday. That means school. The festival seems to be a success. No! When you finish reading. No! Oh, fuck! No, fuck! Well, it's already screwed. It isn't about that. I want my time slots. I need to finish all my confidants. Needed all my confidants. Igor's gonna be pissed, but fuck Igor. Too late now, guys. You can't just leave it. Igor's keeping tabs. How many Igor's do we have? How many Igor's do we have now? What was it? Eight? Nine? 10. And of course, Persona's not working. You gotta restart it. Of course I do. Of course I do. No, not rest mode. I don't know why. Persona, when you restart it, doesn't sometimes work. The fact that you can't close the game and open again must mean it's something in the RAM. Something within the RAM of the game is preventing it from doing it. Kumi, you should stop closing the game mid cutscene or actions as you've done it in other games. You at least do it so many times, whereas in Persona, you can auto reload from the menu anyway. Wait, sorry, I didn't get that. Kuma, you should stop closing the game mid-scene, as you can do it from the menu. Yeah, but to do it from the menu, I have to go further into the game, which means I might see something I don't want to see. End up spoiling myself. Why would I do that? Okay, she's working. I'm gonna go up here. Time to get some guts. Oh. What are you gonna do? Play a game. Oh my god, we almost beat it. A retro fighting game. Could make you gutsy. Okay. Let's start power intuition. Well then. By the way, haven't you read the secret technique book? The amount of time you have for the input commands will increase, making the game easier, right? Use the technique. Makes sense, since you've learned how to. Alright, let's do this. Mm. This is the final point. Wait, it's just a little old lady? Damn, she moves so fast and deals so much damage. You'll need to land a special attack if you want to even be able to create an opening for yourself. Oh! You have a small window of opportunity. Go, go, go. What? What? No! Why wasn't it doing it properly? What the fuck? She's on her heels. Keep pushing. You're almost there. This is the moment of truth. Oh my god! Fuck off! What? Ah! Come on! What the F was that? Now you know why we suggested the book so much. Play a fighting game, Kuma. 
I do play fighting games. I just don't do combos. I just keep dodging people and timing them. They get pissed off occasionally. What a beautifully flowing combo. That was amazing. Okay. You beat power intuition. I can't believe you seriously pulled off that combo. It was incredibly watching you go against such a tough opponent. Pure perfection. The Soviet national anthem should play right now. Your guts has increased to Lionhearted. Alright, let's enjoy this ending. So this manual says if you send in the password you see after the ending you get a prize. This is a promotion from years ago though. There's probably no point in doing it now. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to write it down anyway. Maybe some antique game stores are into that kind of thing. Fighting card. Nice. This is probably a good stopping point. Let's end it for today. Well, you're done. Good job. Chat couldn't possibly... Couldn't have possibly Hi. without us. What? Good job, chat. Couldn't have possibly been without us. This is true. I would have lost. Thank you for waiting. Decent curry. We are bad. Sheep will regret. The festival seems to be a success. You know what really gets me? So many people wear face masks in Japan. Why did Corona spread everywhere then? What are the maids doing here? Why am I asking that question? This is school days all over again. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Even though it's on a different day, there's more people than last year. I think it's a great success, then. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. They're budget maids. <laughs> Whoa, that is... Seriously, you're bringing me a can here to open a beach room? Is that what I am to you? A jar opener and a can opener? <laughs> Is that what I am to you? I open things? <laughs> Is that all I'm good for? Just make sure you don't spill it on the carpet because it's literally red. You know what? It's probably smarter that I go to the kitchen and open this. One drop of this beetroot on the carpet and we're fucked. Sorry guys, I'll be right back in one minute. Apparently I'm a full-time can opener. Sorry guys, I just got distracted flirting with horror. Alright, let's continue. Well yeah, this place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we've got a catchy as a guest. Hachan's cooking lunch, so, you know. Hey, Kuma, you opened her heart, didn't you? Didn't you? Wait. Hey, Kuma, you opened her heart, didn't you? She knows you can open anything. Joker is confirmed. Both have or had harems. Both are lambs and both like a catchy. The bear blinked. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Yes, police officers pretending to be high school students. Huh, I wonder who they could be. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. Meow, meow, meow. What do you normally do at a school festival? What, school festivals are open to the public? Holy shit. No wonder pedophilia is so prevalent in Japan. Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. And try to pick up girls? Hell yeah! Ryuji's right. Just enjoy yourselves. We need to stay on our toes. Just enjoy yourselves. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. 
you are so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. And paranoia won't help us. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day too. I sure hope Kawakami doesn't tell them about all the fucking lock pictures making at night. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. I like how everyone's listening to a cat in plain public. Alright. Why are we discussing this here at the front door? Shouldn't we have discussed this before coming here? Now, now. Let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? And where we're saying it? You know, because this place could be bugged. Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Kuma, Kawakami is willingly making lockpicks, knowing you're part of the Phantom Thieves. So does Takemi. Like, we have left so many breadcrumbs. I'm worried. And what happens if she finds out we have multiple girlfriends? You think she's not gonna snitch on us? Have you ever met a scorned woman before? She will go and out for blood. Even Yoshida knows. F my life. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. You, like Batman, telling every other girl your secret identity and putting them in the firing line. Firing line? No, in the line of fire. Sorry, my old Soviet part of me just came back. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. Police ask Kawakami what she does after school. Kawakami starts sweating. I'm maid! I mean, I'm a maid Oh, I mean, I do stuff. I do students. I mean, I do stuff for students. I know a great one. Follow me. This game does start with you being arrested. Ah, oh, fuck. Now we get to find out how I fucked up. This is the place. Of course you did. The maid cafe. And you're going to be looking at my reaction at the girls. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maid Takoyaki? Is that a hentai joke? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. <laughs> of course! Of course, Anne! You, you're stitching up your friends. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? I love how it's like at the end when no other stand is. Look, there's no other stands next to this one. This one's like all the way at the end. It's like a deserted island here. See, even Futaba figured that out. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. Really? Maids aren't people? Wow, Makoto. We heard a lot of rumors, even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. You're a cat! Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Just hit on the maid for good measure. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? Wow, this guy. There are a lot of odd flavors. 400 yen? That's not too bad. I'm guessing you get half a dozen takoyaki for 400 yen. That's like, what? 70 yen a takoyaki? Stick to a normal one. I bet they... Really? Right in front of the staff? Really, Ryuji? They're gonna spit in your food. I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. Wow, I love how you're upselling me. Sorry, but you're not cute enough for that. What are you, a car salesman? What the hell? Saleswoman. Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. At least in China, the car saleswoman sleeps with you every time you buy a BMW. 
Which is why a lot of the billionaires have multiple cars. But anyway. Really? You could just go to a brothel, dude. Or get a cork. My god, rich people are sometimes really pathetic. Now that I think about it. God, they've got no game. I'm sorry. We're out of Codro. Oh, fuck. What? Seriously? This is a shitty business. Then how about the squid? Let me guess. You're out. Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. Okay, so what do you have? That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. Then forget the food and bring a pole. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Savage, my bro. Also, Kuma, the only person we need to be worried about is Mishima. Imagine what happens if he gets interrogated. A hot investigator will just say everything, even for a promise of a number or a PayPal to simp. Ryuji, you're making a scene. You know, when I was in a maid cafe, I took my mates to a maid cafe. It was basically like the anime societies at every university were hosting a maid cafe with all these other things. And I basically took my mate before taking him um, to Japan. And they did it at this thing and whatnot. Anyway, so all the other guys at the maid cafe were like, Yeah, yeah, love hearts and all this and all this other stuff. And um, we ended up getting this maid. And we're like, look, we don't know what to order. I don't know, we'll order this, we'll order that. And they were sort of like servicing our table. And she was like, yeah, I'll help you guys like play a card game or something. And we're like, we have no idea how to play it. Why don't you play with us and teach us? And she's like, uh, okay. And so she basically sits down next to us and starts playing the card game. So she basically joins the table and she's playing the game with us. And all the other tables are like, how much for that, sir? Yucky soba with beetroot and broccoli. You're the best. And all the other guys on the other tables are like, how much do we pay for that service for you to play with us? And then the other girls are like, uh, no, that's not on the menu. And so all the other tables started getting mad that our maid was playing cards with us. I'm just looking over, it's like, yeah, because you guys are creepy as fuck drooling what this girl is drawing love hearts on your egg omelette. Have you tried treating her like a human being, maybe? And then I ended up finding up this other maid that was into Danganronpa. And we spent like 20 minutes talking about Danganronpa. You know, in the photo section. And the guy's like, Oh, can I talk to you too? I'm just like, Oh my fucking god. So yeah, Ryuji, you could have literally gone out with this girl. Because Anne knows who she is. All the girls here are in her class. And if you played your cards right, you could have walked away with this in a date. Instead, you look like a jackass. What do you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. Soviet takoyaki it is! Give me the Russian with the vodka, I'm in. We'll have that, please. Holy shit, this tastes so good. This will take a little time. Oh, I've got all in the time of the world for you. Something like that, I don't know, say something sweet. Let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. You can tell that Ryuji's never had a girlfriend. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. Yeah, he got Epstein. Well, I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. Oh, surprise, surprise, Prince? Detective Prince? All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. I love that she's sitting like a gargoyle again. She's so slob. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? I don't know, maybe he just wants to keep an eye out on me. Or he may simply love large gatherings. Or maybe he might just simply love. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. <laughs> Who doesn't like being pampered, Miss Model? We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. 
I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. I think this whole thing is a trap. Hell nah. That is possible. Is the Takayaki done yet? You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? I have balls of steel, Makoto. Balls of steel. Would you like to see them? Whoa, that was bad. Whoa! Kuma, the fuck was that? That was, that was, whoa, where did that come from? Oh, oh, where did that come from? Oh, shit. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Why did I have to say the last part? Why did it have to go over the line? There's a line, I didn't just cross it. I just sprinted past it and kept going. I am in trouble. All the ladies on the chat are going like, Kuma. That was awful. I know that was awful. A bit premature. You aren't that far in a social link. Shh. Wait, did she just microwave my takoyaki? Did you literally microwave the takoyaki? Look at Ryuji's face! He is not amused! That's like what? Six takoyakis or eight? Ryuji is not amused. I heard a ding! That is a fucking microwave. Ooh, it's fresh made! And you are like a Soviet used car salesman. Fuck off. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. Futaba, what's going on here? Futaba, what's what's going on here? What's going on here? You're doing the slub squat, and we seem to be on the same wavelength. What's going on here? Futaba, what what's this? What's this? Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. Ryuji, can you try not cock block yourself for 20 seconds? That would be an achievement. For real? So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Wow. You, oh my god. Oh my Oh my There is no hope for you. Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. If there's no vodka sprinkled, I am going to be so disappointed. One of these is special. Oh shit! It's loaded with wasabi, isn't it? Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. <laughs> it's like sushi roulette. Everyone's gonna go for it. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like... Going for the obvious one is manly. Yeah, Ryuji. You gotta have balls of steel to go for that. Oh my god. This and Ryuji thing is just hilarious. It's like a brother-sister dynamic. They're just, like, Anne is just fucking with them. And it's funny, because Anne's not even smart. Which means Ryuji's even dumber. Where did I find these people? Is that so? Oh god, Morgana, don't be that guy. I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. <laughs> you, you, uh, prepare yourself for a life of disappointment, my friend. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Whoa! Haru! Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Think it'll be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, everyone's all here. <laughs> of course. Of course. And Morgana's not gonna get a takoyaki. Poor Morgana. He's always getting fucked over. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. He's fucking stalking us. He even knows where we are. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Yeah, you just so happen to go to the fucking takoyaki made place on the top floor in the middle of whoop-de-doop. 
I'm sorry, but did you put a GPS locator up my ass or something last night? Someone's eager. <laughs> Futaba, you and me, we're, 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 we're basically bros at this point. I would hang out with Futaba fully platonically just because she's fucking awesome. She's awesome. She's, she's on point. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. Shut your fucking door! Oh, no. And yeah, I saw that comment about everyone's here. He definitely suspects us. Fuck my life. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. Oh, such a power move. <gasps> the special one. Such a power move. Let's just call this my performance fee. That is a dick move. But it's fine. Hmm. It's quite the and it hits. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Really? It doesn't seem like you're the type of person to make something so careless. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> My throat. Uh, this is... Why don't you get some water and spread it everywhere? Quench thy thirst. Uh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Hey, it's not far that much yet. Come on, stop being a little girl. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh, spicy... spicy stuff. Oh, he doesn't like spicy food. Well, spice is not actually a flavor, it's a sensation. It's actually pain. So it sounds like Akechi doesn't like pain. Look at that shivering. Oh, <laughs> I think we found his weakness. Hey, does he sound broken to you? We're all a little broken on the inside. Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t Tomorrow. Somebody's getting poopy. You need some toilet paper, buddy? It's like that time you eat burritos and it's too spicy. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. Mm. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. <laughs> Did he truly come to simply check the venue? No, he came to check out the product. Uh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. That's paranoia. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. Oh, yeah. He just so happened to know exactly where we were and popped by to say hi. Really? That doesn't seem suspicious to you? I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. Oh, God. I'm we gonna are... pull this off no matter what. We are so fucked. That a catchy guy. We are so fucked, hook, line, and sinker. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Yep. So basically, he suspects us of being a, uh... <clears throat> What do they call them, my, um... <clears throat> and plus, he's created a scenario where we don't have enough takoyaki and someone's going to have to miss out. So he's basically trying to divide the group. You get eight takoyaki in a mix. We have seven and have eight people. Which means he probably knows about Morgana. And about Morgana not getting any of his tuna, probably. Everyone? <sighs> you're here just imagining things. I think you're not thinking about things at all, Ryuji. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. It must be a first for Ryuji, if at all. 
seriously. I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. That's the adrenaline crush. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. Oh, Futaba spends way too much time on the internet, I can tell you that much. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? Why are you treating her like she's a puppy? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? I love if the ultimate theory is the cat is behind all of this. Oh? Wait. Yusuke's missing. Sai, where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all of the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Dude, this is not a good sign. What if they got to him? Um. Oh, right. He's hitting on Dr. Aizen. Excuse me, you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, yes. Hi. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and Anne first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak to you as well. Ryu- Oh, Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san. Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You hear about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Okay, that is just weird. Now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. I like how he's standing his ground and is just like, he's on drugs. Oh. See, he even just step back. He's like, whoa, 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 hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize, I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Is Yusuke gay or European? <laughs> Yusuke is basically uh, Uryu Ishida. Or the guy from the 10th um, court card squads that's like number 5. I apologize, I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. How about it? How about this? Why not try my counseling yourself instead? Me? Mm hmm. Of course, there's no charge. And Dr. Eisen knows who we are, too. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a little bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you were Madarame's sons. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to see through one's own emotions. Oh, he gets it! That's rather similar to internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just try to do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Counseling with Dr. Eisen. Oh boy. Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. 
but life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, Before yes. you go, Kitakawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I. No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. And what do you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Wow. Hmm. Ah, I see. All right. At Thank any you. rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. What came to my mind when he spoke about a master that would kind his, uh, would uh, guide his paintbrush with care, the only way I understand that is through a martial arts sense, because there are a lot of people that just use their students in order to put them in tournaments and win awards and that sort of shit, which is similar to what Madarame did to Yusuke. Wow. 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 Wow, that really struck a chord with me. Wow. Well, that was something. Wow. Well then. He's so pure. He's so pure. He's literally a diamond in the rough. Wow. And I used him to duplicate pieces of paper. Wow. I have become the very monster we freed him from. Joker is so manipulative. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. I catch his panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. I love how, um, uh, what's her name? Futaba gives him shit about Inari, but that's probably how she shows love. Because she was the first one to respond. She might be like, you know, throwing a little bit of shade, but she's sort of doing it from a place of love. You know, that's how I see it. It's like banter. Almost like hazing. Not in a romantic sense, like some people are doing, but in a more of a, like a friendly thing, you know, like a, like a nickname. She gave him a nickname. And although he doesn't initially accept it, it kind of is him, which is kind of cute. It's really cute. Where the hell are you? Did you get seriously lost? I saw a man who resembles Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there. Did you go to his counseling? Kuma, you're technically Kamoshida 2.0 because of your lust. Madarama 2.0, forcing people to do hard work for your benefit and Kanashiro 2.0 as you're obsessed with never having enough money. Let's not forget out of the deadly sins I definitely have wrath and pride. You cannot tell me that I do not have wrath and pride. Those two I definitely have. The thing I'm unsure about is sloth. We definitely have greed. Gluttony? Yeah, gluttony. I eat a lot. It's 
Yes, I did. It was certainly not what I was expecting. By stealing the hearts of sinners, you have begun to take their sins upon yourself. The passion of the Kuma. Yes, it was. Certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? I'm at home. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorms. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is is that unusual? Tomorrow is a catchy panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. I'll just add this. We're taking sins on ourselves. Doesn't he still have Jesus in his persona? Those who fight monsters risk become mo becoming monsters themselves. Well, currently Alice, and we're current- Oh my god, we are currently Mara. Fuck off. We are now Jesus. And I, I am very- Oh my god, Jesus has the peace symbol on him. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. And I feel really bad that we sacrificed Jesus for a thought. Why are the legs like that? Is it because Jesus' legs were broken when he was on the cross? I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking the design. I can understand the thing at the back, it's like an icon, ikona. And I can understand the gravestones being, you know, freeing people that have died because, you know, you have to fight death in the underworld. And I can also understand the angelic wings. Wow, these designs are really interesting. It's very symbolic. You've got the peace sign, obviously. Red, which is royalty. And you've got the light blue eyes. Also sloth, because I believe you said you were lazy in a job interview. But lazy creative. No, that was just a manipulation. Because they asked me what is one of my weaknesses. And I turned a weakness into a strength. And they forgot they were asking me for a weakness. I threw them off. I just manipulated my interviewers. It's a very interesting design. I never realized how interesting these designs were. Jesus, Mara, and Evil Loli, the Harbinger of the End, all as Joker's personas. Yeah. When I really think about it, Joker is a little bit of a psycho. Blue eyes because Persona's owners had blue eyes. Oh right, the red isn't symbolic. It's because Picaro takes on Joker's color scheme. Oh right. So the original Messiah is completely different. Right, 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 right. Right. A Persona become Picardo after taking on the Joker's mask. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. You should really play Persona 3. He is. The amount of masks is impressive. So basically every mask is a persona he puts on himself to hide. So who is the real Joker? Is there a real Joker? My god, he has... He's wearing the masks for so long, he's lost sight of who he is. He doesn't know who he is anymore. Wow. This game is really deep. Arson is his real mask, right. Listen to Beneath the Mask. Wow. Wow, this game is fucking deep. 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 Definitely deep. I like how everyone's you just noticed. Guys, I can only notice so much at any given time. It's not like my second time I'm playing this. My first. There's nothing inside. Burning down the walls. Is there a way for me to break? I'm a shapeshifter and a post-masquerade. 
Breaking is what they call splitting in psychology when your psyche splits into most multiple personas to defend itself. So that's what they mean by break. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Photo time. This is when we were at the food store. No. No. Oh my god. Seriously, the way the way Futaba is right now is basically the way Hachan was when I started dating her. I started taking thousands of photos of Hachan because every time she would try a food, she would literally light up like a Christmas tree like that with happiness. Come if you understand most of Carl Jun's studies, you'll understand personas as what it's basically made on. Right, I I heard I heard about Carl from what's his name? That really um, popular guy that's on YouTube that roasts lefties. Uh, what's his name? Um, you know the guy, Jordan Peterson. He talks a lot about Carl Jun. But I haven't actually read any of his stuff. I probably should. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Man, even yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Look at the thirst. Look at the thirst. Please, you're exaggerating. Wow, flattery. I think this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand though. Yakisoba, I had the best yakisoba so close to a, um, a, um, a temple in Japan. It was like 500 yen. It was so good. The guy's yakisoba pile was like this big at any given time. So good. I love Japan. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. I like how she says it wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. She's so used to the instant yakisoba. I've got some at home, but we pr cook proper ones with Hachan. When I was living in Japan, I was actually making Hachan breakfast, which was yakisoba. So I would buy the yakisoba, I would make yakisoba, and then I would get sausages from Costco, so she gets a little protein in her diet. Then I would get broccoli, and then I would basically make her breakfast and make her a lunch pack. Yeah, don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Yeah, when they spit in it because you're being a dickhead. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us, Anne? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Kuma's Yakisoba with the red mountain of ginger? Is that a private pic? Oh. No, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. Bullshit! That's a private pick! So she was sitting next to Joker in that one. How about the one you took of Kuma's Yakisoba? With the big red mountain of ginger. Oh no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. She was in that photo. That's a private pic. Oh god. I can't tell you. Oh god, she's in love. We're a monster. What if Morgana's the devil? I should write something. Wouldn't fucking surprise me. He's okay with all my sins. At pause or post masquerade? Have no face to show. Wow. Prime Minister is still being unable to form an effective plan to counter the Phantom Thieves. Criticism against him is only coming from the opposition, but from the ruling party as well. If the ruling party does split, then a snap in action could be a real possibility. Hey. I don't know much about politics, but it sounds like there's a lot going on in the government. Sounds like a double Yo. dissolution. Perfect. 
Oh. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. There you go. <laughs> I bet she can't wait to have her heart broken by us. I'm sharpening my Haru axe. Don't disrespect the Andona. The thing is, it's not that difficult to fight against someone with an axe. But still, I can kind of see why you would want to swing it at me. Because I am a monster. I'll just add this. But then again, I am only the symptom of a much larger problem, which is the society which created me. Therefore, I'm not the problem. I'm only a symptom of it. Oh. Alright, evening. Can we instant transmission? No, we cannot. So what are you going to do? Okay, so we can't go outside. Yeah, we can't go outside. Carl Jun, the creator of Junian Psychology, describes a persona as a mask one takes to face the world. It, start, it stated that people can have multiple personas, a concept used in Persona 1, 2, and abandoned Persona 3, in which only the main character can have multiple personas. But I think that is absolutely correct, because we all have different personas. The personas we have with our friends, the personas we have at work, the personas we have at school, the personas we have romantically, the personas we have, you know, with our parents. The problem is that we start wearing all these different masks, that it starts getting messy and we start forgetting who we truly are. Hey. And that's why it always goes back to the problem that I said that people have, they can't accept themselves. They put on a mask to shield themselves because they're afraid people won't accept them for who they are. When people start accepting you for who you are, you don't need the mask. That's why I'm so picky with my friends. I don't have a lot of friends, but my friends know me. That's the thing. And that's why I'm always in shock when my friends actually show how much I mean to them. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, one of my mates wanted me to be a best man at his wedding. One of the best men at his wedding. And I was like, wow. Like, the other person that's your best man is literally your cousin who you grew up with. You know, and another person is like someone that you're basically like been bros with for, you know, 25 years. And you basically consider me a bro on the same level. That's up here. And I'm kind of like, stunned. Like, I'm stunned. Jiki's like barking. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we've done all this. Um, can we call Kawakami to do some shit? Okay. Slavery. Can we work out a little bit? What can we do? Let's train a little bit. Kumi's gonna have a blast with all the Persona games. Oh, you want to do training? it? Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> I'm getting trained by a cat while my teacher in a maid outfit is watching me. Get back to work! Alright, let's do this. Let me see your fighting spirit. Did she just nod? Are you going to take anything? Take protein. Take moist protein. Take imported protein. Take moist protein. You're supposed to take it after. Huh? You have three of those. How about it? Take it. Why is she watching me? Get back to work! Let's carry out our plan. Hachan, Cheeky was barking. If there's anyone intruded, you grab the katana and stab them in the belly. I believe in you. Well, let's begin your workout. Okay. Oh my god, this fucking roof is gonna collapse. Dude, the whole house is shaking! I think Kuma might have talked about all the Persona games themes on these rants. Probably. She's probably thinking at the back of her mind, My man, yeah. My man pumping them muscles, yeah. Then I'm gonna give him a massage. I'm just like, God, we are a monster. 
I mean, he technically shouldn't be using um, his balance like that to try and push himself up, but the fact that he's actually able to do pull-ups like that is impressive on its own. Because he's doing them like this, which is a lot more difficult than doing them like this. Because it's a completely different muscle group. This is more your shoulders, whereas this is more your biceps. All right, you can do this. Clear your mind and focus on your center. Meanwhile, Kawakami hears, Meow! Meow! Don't give up, push past your limit. <laughs> Good job, let's keep up the hard work. Nice going. Seems like you've gained some strength. All right. HP increased by five. <coughs> Looks like you're getting results from the protein shake too. All right. HP increased by two. Well then. Well, it's getting late. Why don't you get some sleep? Isn't he going to take a shower after that sweaty workout? Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. All right, see you later. I remember when I was training and at my peak, like my bicep muscles and a pull down was so strong. Well then, we will now begin today's panel. It should be good. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? This motherfucker, you little manipulative piece of shit. I dated a girl like you before. Broke my heart. We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. Ha <laughs> ha. How much do you think he knows? He knows a lot. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. I have a feeling that he suspected us a while ago, but the fact of the matter is the police know who we hang out with, and I wonder who they got that information from. But that is not vital information. He didn't give them the complete story. He just did it to keep on their good side. But now, for some reason, apparently, he's not spending a lot of time with Sai. I wonder why that is. Is she on a power trip because she thinks she can handle it now on her own? Makes sense. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Way too obvious. Getting right to the point, I see. I know, she's skipping the foreplay. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, Makoto. I wouldn't phrase it that way, but... Well, something like that. Why don't you just let him speak freely? You might get more out of it. Thank you for answering that question. How about you give the public some questions? By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? Alright, that's a valid question. How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Well, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. Wow, he blocked and deflected that. But won't you tell us? <laughs> I would have said something along the lines of, well, it looks like my sister rubbed off on me, because he knows who she is. What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence 
when you previously stated they were unjust. No, I'm not saying that her sister is also her mother. Wasn't her dad a cop? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting in with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if this is all hypothetical, mind you. The music just stopped. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Of course you do. He's got to be bluffing. Really? He's looking right fucking at you. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? She just went from full throttle into full reverse. He got her. He got her good. It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. Oh shit! He just went on the offensive. Makoto, you should just say, sure, who do you think they are? And then when he says it, you should just laugh. And you're like, wow, that's interesting. Oh, wow. The truth? What's he planning on saying? Man, you should just let him pull the pin on the hand grenade and just laugh it off. That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. Well played, Makoto. Well played. I'm gonna take a beetroot slice and eat it! Ow! Oh. That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. He doesn't have evidence, he has suspicion. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption. But I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Did we just text him? Would you mind if I step away for about 10 minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in 10 minutes. That was oddly convenient. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. It better be bugged. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Oh, God. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? This up? We only have ten minutes, you know. Okay, Wesker. What do you want to talk about? Where's Morgana in this? He's a ringleader. Oh, there he is. No. What 
Well, that answers the question of what happens with us when we go into the metaverse. And that explains why you were there. But, have you ever heard of Photoshop? 0010020003. Video. CCTV. Secure office building. With CCTV that's probably backed up and stored for six months. I knew this would fuck us in the ass! Sorry, Hotshot, we're just getting fucked in the ass. I know, it is painful. There was no dinner or lube. What are you looking for? By the way, it was delicious. That's gotta be shocked. That was my first thought. I have video footage too. Ugh, fuck it. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too. Yes. Two. Seventies pants, long thin pistol, pointing it out like this so theatrically. All right, start talking to Ketchy. Well, none of these responses are fun. What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. All right, Ketchy, we're in the same bed. Start talking. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. As well. And I like the little gremlin just being like... Down, girl. And she's standing next to her Inari. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I like how you're talking about mysterious powers. You said as well. I suspect you, motherfucker. Don't play innocent. I found out about that world about a month ago. So he's not hiding it? This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Igor! Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. A month ago? What were we doing a month ago? But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. Well, you know, it's only rough and painful the first time when you don't know what you're doing. After a while, it gets pleasurable. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional- Ryuji, down boy. All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Just keep listening. I'll take your silence as confirmation. Silence is not consent, rapey boy. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. You saw another. Isn't it more likely that you're the real culprit, little jack shit? For real? Oh, shut up, Ryuji. Who was it? I'm not falling for this bait. He's too heavily involved in this. Too ju oh, yeah. I just so happened to be in the metaverse. I just so happened to see the other culprit. Bullshit. I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Don't we all? Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world too. And so what? You just followed us in the background and said absolutely nothing? That's when I saw someone else moving about. 
besides all of you. Uh, I'm sorry, he didn't have that pistol. And he didn't have that sort of cape. The way you're describing him is completely different from how he looked. He had a long-barreled pistol, very similar to a German pistol from World War II. What you're holding there is American-made. I could tell your story's full of shit, because from what I've seen, and what you're telling me, is different. Also, that guy was wearing gloves. This guy's wearing gauntlets. Armored gauntlets. Different outfit. This guy's got a drape with holes in it. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. Oh, and he missed? That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. Oh, so the how did you get out? I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? I don't trust this. I don't trust this. A sketchy is exactly what you're saying. I don't trust this. It's too convenient. It's too convenient. He just so happens to have it at the same time. Just so happens to walk in with us. Just so happens to follow us around without us noticing him, mind you. He gets shot at. We don't hear it. He gets out just fine. Hmm. And then waits until now to tell us? It's awfully convenient. And then he chooses to tell us all as a group, instead of maybe talking to Joker alone. Kuma, you saw him get pulled in. This is too sketchy. This is too sketchy. They didn't hear Okumura get shot either. This is too sketchy. This is way too sketchy. No, I don't trust this. This is way too sus. The enemy had a silencer on his gun, so it's possible you didn't hear it. It's a suppressor, but okay. This cat. Wait, can you hear Morgana? I swear, it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. And are you literally going to spill the beans on everything before we've even confirmed he's not trying to tangle us up and kill us and throw us under the bus for this? Really, Anne? Really? Really? This is unbelievable. You know what? No one's going to believe that testimony. The cat's talking. Good luck with that one. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? He's gonna pin this on the cat. I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? You see, what, what's really getting me is that he got pulled in. I don't know the range at which we can pull people in, and we're assuming everything Akechi has told us is the truth. We're assuming that this thing appeared on his on his phone a month ago. That's unverifiable. We just have his word. It's... odd. Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. I don't like this. I don't, li I do I don't like this. You pulled him in like you pulled Anne in. I don't know what the proximity is. It's possible. Was that a month ago? Someone else is behind the murders. Yes? Try hear him out. 
However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. Anne was pulled in and he was in the range of the nav. You pulled him in a month ago. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit biased because I never trusted him to begin with. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? Well, you have motive. Money. When Kasumi's pers persona awakened, you and Mona were pulled in by surprise. So even so even persona users can get pulled in by surprise. So it frees him of suspicion. Yes, we should really use that effing app on scheduled places. It might actually be that Igor handpicked who gets pulled in because he is ex explicitly said to be the one sending out the app. Igor, what a dick. I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. I knew that going in at public places was gonna bite us in the ass if we just disappear. At first I thought we'd just stand there like, eh, and then we disappear. But in front of a fucking office building? Come on! There's a difference between an alleyway and an office building in broad daylight. A deal? You want a contract, don't you? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Really? Do you really think we're in a position to decline? Those photos are what's called blackmail, Yusuke. Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Well, at least he's passionate about stopping killings. I mean, that's one good thing. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. Almost enough impatience to create a palace. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Uh, 99.8 conviction rate. Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. Yep, she's gone nuts. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. What a bitch! Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! Welcome to Japan. We're talking about how broken the legal system is in Japan. And if they arrest you for something, you're basically guilty. And we're still going to be arrested? Yep, conviction right. You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. This is why I don't like the legal system. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! And that's the truth! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. But we're meeting with Sai after supposedly we've already made her have a change of heart. Didn't the SIU director try to make Sai a target to dispose of her? Does that mean that we didn't dispose of her? Or does that mean that we didn't go into her palace by the time we were caught? We were caught in a casino and Kasumi bailed us out. That must have been a palace. Oh god, we went up on a police government building to try to infiltrate her palace. They caught us trespassing. Oh god, we got caught while infiltrating her palace. 
That wasn't a casino, that was a police station! And they use drugs on us? Wow. Oh god, the next palace is GG. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. We're fucked either way. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi san's proposal? Oh, I thank you guys for making emote only chats to stop the spoilers. It was a good decision to make you guys editors. Good call. Good call, whoever did it. Good call. You're demanding a lot. Is there any other way? I can understand how you feel. It must be hard making a decision on the spot like this. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Seriously, dude? Seriously? I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. Well, you're the one that kept saying you're busy! One condition. He goes in with us. That's the condition. He goes in with us. That's the condition. Can we make it 29 today? Stuff gets good. The condition is he goes in with us. We ain't raiding a palace without him. I'm keeping an eye on him. He goes in with us. That's the condition. Otherwise, no deal. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. Ugh. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! They're going. What's going on? I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. What was that? So, I truly apologize about this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Is this whole thing just us telling the story to Sai? What did they inject into us? It wasn't truth serum. It was probably serum to help us remember our memories. I forget what it's called though. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Yep. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? We could always mental shut down Akechi. Calm down, Ryuji. We could always change his heart. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. 
we need to give this a lot of thought. And you can't, he has a persona, which means he doesn't have a palace? Shit. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. No, oh, you're telling me. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. What, did he have information on Hillary Clinton too? He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Great. Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh! Things just keep getting better and better, don't they? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. All right. Moreover, all right, DC Douglas, go back to. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> She's. Oh God. Oh. Really? Fataba was our liability? Oh, come on. The post festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Unless there's a pool and water and wrestling, I'm not interested. Host festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. No! I don't want to go home and sleep! I want to watch the girls wrestling in gelatin! Con- Huh? What? Well, this is something. Hello. Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? This almost sounds like an invitation. Well, I'm not sure yet. Then why don't we go together? Oh god. Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. Oh no. What? <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. In your own school? People are going to talk! Joker? I hope you know how to keep your cool. Because Anne's gonna be... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get in there, senpai! <laughs> and now, it's time for your favorite Shuji tradition! The student sharing special! The what now? <sighs> the what now? But, before that, we've decided to change things up this year. Oh boy. Oh boy. Members of the dance club, come on down. Eh? Standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it! It's showtime. Senpai. Where did that come from? And now that you're all warmed up, let's switch up the music! 
Please nothing romantic. Please nothing romantic. Please nothing romantic. Hey, you're Yoshizawa son, right? The first year? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We've got a little favor to ask you. Oh crap. Oh no, she's trying to get Senpai's attention. Morgana, you're an accomplice to this. why she called us to the dance. She wanted to show us what she was training for. Don't think what I think you're about to do. Oh, shit. This isn't gonna end well. I left the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We, 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 we are screwed. <sighs> that was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Oh. As great as I expected. Thank you. My balls are going to be crushed with a mallet by the end of this. Wow, that dance was amazing. Really? You're going to talk about another girl to your girl? <sighs> I know, right? I was totally blown away. Okay, maybe she's into that sort of thing. Sure, go for it. Whatever makes you girls happy. I mean, guys, uh, whatever makes you two happy. Dad, he's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Please don't invite me. 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 Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. All right, bullet dodged. Be careful. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be all right, though. Oh, such a gentle letdown. The post festival party was so much fun, especially with you. Oh boy. Oh boy. See you soon. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are gonna end up breaking somebody's heart. The gym's quieted down. <laughs> quieted down. Okay, the gym the gym's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to get home and start working on that alibi. Oh boy, please don't be Anne, please don't be- 
Of course! Can't go five minutes without testing another girl. What's the rule? You go on a free time with one girl in the afternoon, you gotta go with another one in the evening, you gotta text one in the morning. Oh, Joker, this is gonna end up biting you in the ass. I'm telling you that now. I am telling you that now. First festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? Oh my god. Don't you dare go for the duo factor. You're gonna take two girls to the same venue in the same evening from the same school from the same social circle? What's next? The trifecta? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. No, not now! So, I could use a change of pace. How about it? it? Looks like I've received some messages. Oh god, it's all the girls! It's the birthday party scenario all over again! When all the girls want to throw you a surprise birthday party. <laughs> It's happening again! The most you could juggle is two in that scenario. It's doable, but it's difficult. And they've got to be from different social circles. Because it's awkward if multiple girls invite the same people to a birthday party. Oh boy. Are you still at school? I wonder what we should do about the deal he offered. Anyway, wanna go to the post-festival party together? I feel anxious being alone. And it has begun. Sajibro was right! Things are gonna get messy! <laughs> oh shit. Looks like I've received some messages. I go oh no! I forgot about the teacher! Who's been a slave for the past three months! Making lockpicks! Are you going to the post festival party? I have to stay at school for work, but. Looks like I've received some messages. Great. How many? Ryuji? Yo, wanna go to the post-festival party and try to calm down? We can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. I'm still pretty pissy though. I thought everyone was going home! Well, Mishima's here with me. You wanna join us? Who should I go to the festival party with? Oh my god! The chat is going off right now. I knew this would bite us in the ass. I knew this would bite us in the ass. I thought we were gonna get shit. Out of curiosity, I wanna see what everyone thinks. I'm not going to do what you guys vote for, so don't spend your mono mono coins on voting because I'm not gonna do what the vote says. I just wanna know what people think. Kawakami said she's he, uh, she's has to stay there, which means she'll catch you cheating. I want to see what everyone here would do. That's why I'm going to put the poll. I'm not going to do what the poll says. I just want to see what everyone wants to do. So, who would you take to the party? 
Uh, I think it was N. I think it was Kawakami. I think it was uh, Ryu. Wait, Ryuji. I think it was also um, what was the name? Haru. Oh, Makoto is not available. Makoto not. If she. You have one minute. And I'm turning off the mono mono coins. I want to see a proper one. I want to see what you people would want. I want to see what you people would do. Oh, I see a lot of Ryuji votes. A lot of people would hang out with the boys. And some people would hang out with Kawakami. I wrote am instead of an, but you guys know what I mean. Oh wow! An's dead last! I see Ryuji! Kao oh, Kao is making a comeback! And there's also Haru! Oh! And there's also Makoto and An! Oh my god! Whoa! The boys! Can't even spell your own girlfriend's name. Awkward. Did I guys tell you the story of when I forgot a girl's name? I started talking to her, right? And we started talking. And at the end of it, I was like, hey, can I, you know, grab your details? And then she's like, sure. And she starts talking. I'm like, no, it's probably easy if you put it in. So I open up my phone and I'm like, here you go, basically. And it's basically on the add contact. And she adds in her number. And then she gives it back to me and I look at it. And I'm like, oh shit, she didn't fill out her name. And I'm like... Is your name spelt with an E or an I? And she's like, it's Jenny. And I'm like, E or an I? And she's like, E. Still went out with it though. But the point was I forgot her name. <laughs> While talking with her. Ugh. Wait. Oh god, that doesn't count. But we're just dating. Does that count? Ginny? Yeah. <laughs> Jenny? Yeah, that's the one. Smart. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what was the vote? I want to see what the vote was. What was the vote? I think the boys won. I think the boys won. If you asked what her full name was, you could have avoided that. Ah, oh, truth. Did I? Oh, shit. No, but I think the boys won. Followed by Kawakami. Followed by, um, Haru. And Makoto and then Anne. Anne actually lost. Anne actually lost. So you guys would go with the boys. Haru was 19, Kawakami was 17. Oh wow, I missed it. My friend forgot my name even though we've been friends for months. She asked me for my name and then I was like, wow. Then I told her my name. Then the smooth effort was like, oh, I meant your last name. I will remember that. Because I actually forgot the name of all my co-workers when I started working at the university and they were pissed. Especially considering like one of the girls I was hanging out with. Wow, no wonder, pe no wonder people were shocked when I started dating Hachun. Huh, interesting. I love how we don't have an option. Like this right here is a hand grenade waiting to go off. I would literally deject from this situation and go home. I would literally deject. Going with Kawakami, you're gonna get the wrath of Anne. Haru won't be so bad. Go with Anne, you get the wrath of Kawakami. 
Go with Haru, you get the Wrath of An and Kawakami. And these guys are gonna be like, oh! So you're either gonna be a bad boyfriend. I, I don't even think I'm being a boyfriend in this relationship at all. And this relationship is non-existent at this point, so you can dodge that entirely without being bad. She's kind of into you, but at the same time... I would go with Ryuji and Mishima. I would go with the boys. There was a scenario where Hachan was upset that I was going drinking with my friends. And then she was really upset about it. And we got into a little bit of an argument. And I was like, Hachan, they're my closest friends. And she's like, well, I don't like you hanging out with them. And I'm like, Hachan, they're my closest friends. If you put this into a thing where I have to choose between breaking off with all my closest friends and keeping you, I would pick my friends. And then she was just like, okay, go out with them. And she got pissy a few times and then she joined us a few times and then my mates started bringing their girlfriends and so she started calling out with them. But I basically created a scenario of, I'm not going to abandon my friends. If I have to and this doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I don't throw my friends under the bus. I'm loyal. That doesn't mean I'm not loyal to you. It just means I am not going to be disloyal to my friends. So, yeah. Some of my friends don't know that, but... Loyalty. In this case, he's a cheating bastard. Like, in this case, he's a cheating bastard. Like, an absolutely big cheating bastard. Kimo, what about all the work you've made Kawakami do? Kawakami is gonna cut you off if you ghost her. Man, if you go with Kawakami, you're fucked here. You're fucked here. Anne's gonna fuck you up because Anne's already there. And Kawakami's already there. So if you go with Anne, Kawakami's gonna see it. If you go with Kawakami, Anne's gonna see it. If you go with Ryuji and Mishima and say you just want not check in your phone, then you just sound like, well, you didn't check your phone. Hmm. Those who break the rules are scum, but those who would abandon every single one of their friends are worse than scum. Someone said that. That was Ichigo, wasn't it? That was Ichigo. That was Ichigo to Byakuya during their fight. That was Ichigo to Byakuya. Or was that Obito? That was Obito! Fuck! I forgot that was Obito! You know, Obito was basically my favorite character from Naruto. I wanted to cosplay him. But I ended up switching to Pedro Bear because I got Hachan. And when I got Hachan, I wanted to do a couple things. So Hachan got an Ari costume, and I got Pedro Bear. It was Obito. Fuck, how did I miss it with uh, Ichigo? It must have been Ichigo about breaking the rules in the Soul Society to rescue Rukia. My bad, that was Obito. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're gonna go with the bros not to get stabbed. Well, Mishima's here with us, and I'm gonna save this game save so we can do it again. Alright, let's get our mind off this shit. See you at the gym. I should head to the gym. This is the real route, but we're going to be able to replay this a few times if we want to. I'm gonna save it as a separate save. This is the true route. This is the true route. This is the true route. This is the true Kuma route. This is the canon route. Everybody give them another round of applause! I think if I replayed this game with the fact that cheating could get me fucked in mind, I might play a little bit differently. But given that I'm in this situation, in for a penny, in for a pound. That sucked. Kuma, good job. You got the worst ending in the game. Oof. Round of applause, everyone. You're doing this again? Kuma, you could watch these events in the video after you finish the game. Fair enough. All right. Who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? Over here. Over here. Oh god, of course. This guy's got something. What? What? 
No, no, Mishima, we are not on the same wavelength. Hmm. Where is this guy? Not here. I can't seem to find him. Oh well. Uh, Blondie, step on up here. Oh! What? <laughs> This is karma. Exactly. There was a new unused harem bad ending discovered. Lol. Come, come! Everyone's waiting! Damn it! Ah! And what is your name? Sakamoto. Sakamoto? I've been calling him Sakamoto! He's getting grilled. Anyway, on with the show. What would you like to share with us today, Sakamoto-kun? Sakamoto-kun? Uh, uh... Huh? What's this? Our Sakamoto-kun may look tough, but it turns out he has a nasty case of stage fright. This kid is a dick. Wow, this MC is a dick. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? Oh, God! Huh? Oh? Man, he's going in for the kill. We're all dying to know what Akechi kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Sakamoto kun? Uh, um, well. Ryuji is in trouble. He might accidentally spill the beans about the Phantom Thieves. I can't believe this is fucking happening. I need to change the subject. So, uh, uh, you know... You have a girlfriend? Stop stuttering. Yeah, I'd love to join in and kick your ass. The hell yeah, he does. Well then, come on up. All right, let me just kick your ass. Now, what would you like to share with us today? Your mum's telephone number. There's someone I like. Nothing. I have a bombshell. No, I'm not pulling the pin on this hand grenade. I have a bombshell. The hell? What? What are you gonna say? What should I shout? I love. Oh no! 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 I love you, Anne. I love you, Makoto. I love you, Futaba. Ew! I love you, Haru. I how can you love Haru? You just met her! 
I love you, Ryuji. I love you, Yusuke. I love you, Morgana. Trying to avoid a grenade has landed you into a minefield. <laughs> no! <laughs> this situation just keeps getting worse and worse with every fucking option! I went from picking who to take to this shithole to picking who to confess my undying love to in front of all the others? Oh my god! I love you, Ryuji! Are you stupid? I don't need that label on me. I won't be able to come back here tomorrow. Is there anything colder than this? Come on, just quit it, please. Um, excuse me. I love your mom. I am your father. Tell her I'll be home by nine. Tell her to get the bath ready. I like the rubs she gives me. Just start doing your mama jokes. Do you have anything? Well, uh, I guess that's the end of that. Let's move on to the next person, shall we? Why isn't he gonna say it? Let's give him a nice round of applause. <laughs> Mishima, you should not fucking be laughing at anyone, even though this was hilarious. That's what you get for trying to fucking throw someone a hot potato. You got blasted. Turns out you're just a big chicken, huh? Wow, you just got fucked like a little bitch! I'm gonna kill you if you don't shut it! Really? Either? Are you? I miss the shy Ryuji. Wow. No, I, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Dude. By the way, I would have been totally effed if you hadn't said something. You're welcome. Thanks. You mean you were nervous? But you're the brilliant Sakamoto kun. <laughs> Why are they pronouncing it Sakamoto? Like. Saka Moto Do you like what the fuck? Damn it, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> oh yeah, uh this ain't really the best way of thanking you, but uh here, take this. What is it? Your uh, thanks. <laughs> but I didn't even need that. I've already maxed him out. What? What's a Ryuji dog? <laughs> We're knee deep in shit dealing with a catchy, and he gets to just laugh his ass off. Oh come on! It was pretty funny. Huh? I'm kind of jealous. Uh, the Japanese devs specifically requested that the dub voice actors have the VAs pronounce the last names wrong in the localization. Why? Why would you want it mispronounced? Why? Oh, wait, Saka. <laughs> hey, Mishima, have you ever seen a student fall off the roof? Can I see the gift without doing the next step? Welcome home. Ah, uh, crap. The gargoyle. 
Look, we're not even dating. You're, you're practically like a little gremlin that lives in the attic. Well, I live in the attic, but you get the point. You've got no reason to be pissy with me. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. You weren't even on the list of people I could pick. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I am worried now. I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Your thoughts were getting out of hand? I, I was having Vietnam flashbacks about a birthday party I had about seven years ago. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Perfect for what? Perfect for what? The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. Can this guy's hair get out of the way? No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. Just, just move a little bit. They're saying whatever they want. Just, just move! So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. You arrested us? That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I knew it, the politician guys pulling the strings. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. They're scared of a change of heart because they know they're brutal dictators. And they know they have a palace. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Wow. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. Unexpected? To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. What a dick! Kuma, you're dating Anne. Bad taste to joke on what happened to Shiho. You are heartless. Think of what you said in Shiho. I'm gonna be honest. I made that threat explicitly because I knew what happened to Shiho. In bad taste. <laughs> We're home! Ah, oh, crap, he knows. Oh, I've never seen him sitting down before. Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. Okay, the Phantom Thieves changed her heart. That's why she stopped living the life of a gremlin eating Doritos, chips, and Mountain Dew. She's not a Phantom Thief. She is one of their victims, after she posted her name on their online website. 
That's all she knows. Right? Right? This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. You went into my room without my permission? I think my angle on handling the situation would have worked a lot better than this one. I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? Go with my angle. Go with my angle. That's... Go with my angle. Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Go with my side. Go with my side. Can't tell me? Explain. Why am I hearing a Dalek? Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... Don't blame Futaba. I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? Throw a stake, get away with the, you know, rest. <laughs> How about it? Ever since... Mom died. I, there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. I don't know if she's being legitimate or she's faking it and acting and deserves an Oscar without sleeping with Epstein. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> I love how no one brings up the moving bag. <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When did you notice? No! 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 When she said she was gonna go to the beach out of nowhere, even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. That doesn't seem so bad, does it? I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. 
Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. So you took in her daughter as a way to mend your own guilt. Interesting. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Oh boy. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? I knew that she was in trouble, so I put her name on the website. Wink. You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? Oh boy. This is a tough one, because if you lie to him, the trust is over. If you tell him the truth, you're basically over. The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. Ah, shit. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? Uh... And then, there's Futaba. Uh... You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? It's funny that he didn't let me answer the question and then reveal how much he knew. He literally put all the cards on the table and then asked me as part of the question. A man of honor, I see. You're sharp. You think this is a game? You know what people call them? Criminals. Well, they call my people criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? Oh, he doesn't think I'm one of them. That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Not in that way. The other way. Uh, um... In the way of the... Oh, really? In the way of the... Oh, fuck. God damn it. Really? I didn't even try to hit on you. I didn't even try. Why you do this? Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? I'm not the dealer, I'm the cook. I'm the chef. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Believe what you want. Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro. So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? Technically four months. I wasn't one for the first two months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. I know, right? Look at all the horrible progress she's made. What the hell? Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. It was all the cat. I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. It was all the cat. The cat is the ringleader. I have been possessed by the cat. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? No already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Well, this was a long avoided discussion. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! Is this also why you run a cafe and no longer work for the government? When she passed away, I did think it was odd. Awfully fishy. 
Speaking of fish, Morgana's still waiting for his sushi. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Well, old timers like us don't get to run. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. So he did run. Exile. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. Nailed it. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. No, that's not on you. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. What's your job as a guardian? And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? That's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> Bitch, you love me too much to kick me out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Wait till you hear about the cat and the magical prison with the two lollies and the dream man with the long nose. Huh, and wait till you hear about Alice. That's gonna be interesting. Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ah, fuck. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Why? What do you mean? Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. The fact that he's hungry means the adrenaline has dropped. And yeah, I totally get the fact that he's mad that he found out like this, but at the same time, do you really think we had the opportunity to tell him? Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. So, did Futaba just outright say that we stole her heart? And she's upstairs in our bedroom now. Awkward. What? He knows everything? You gotta be kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely won't be receiving these messages if Kuma was not okay. I have a feeling that Boss was no ordinary man. He didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more cautious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait, a second though. Didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? A government official, someone very powerful. Ain't you letting your imagination run a bit wild? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then what? Then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not possible. Really? Why not? This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what! Whoa! We've got a Naruto here! She's slob and a half. I guess the chief had an inkling after all. Hey. Hey, another box came for you. Uh, Futaba, like, I totally get it that we're practically siblings at this point, but are you just gonna be a gargoyle in my fucking room from now on? 
Like, seriously? Is this your way of cock blocking me that I can't get the maid in here? Because I can still get the maid in here. You just watch. You think I'm not going to do it? I'm going to do it. 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 I should write something. So 10.25th is when it happens. Kutaba wants to be more than siblings. Stop shaming her. Well, we're not blood related, but... These are the type of talks I avoid! It's easy when it's just the game and it's all physical attraction. You don't have to talk to people. You just have to hit psychological triggers and next thing you know... You know, bah chicka wow wow, but... <sighs> oh no, god damn it. It's super easy doing it for the achievement. Wow. Wow. Check the word Ryuji just said. What? I say no reason. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding. I never realized! I didn't even realize! He said the thing. Sorry. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. It's so late already. Is Sajira still awake? This is kind of awkward. Go home, worry, worry. You can sleep on the sofa. No. The gentlemanly thing is to say that she can have your bed and your sleep on the sofa. At least be a gentleman! The fuck is this? The fuck is that? You can sleep on the sofa. Hey, wait! Wait, shouldn't she sleep on the sofa so the photographer can go ahead and sleep on the bed? Yeah, Morgana understands! I'm gonna go home. We're not a gentleman then, yeah! Joko is too big for the surfer while Potabo is just right. That is not the point! That is not the point! You totally- no! Nah! I'm gonna go home. No. Decide on a catchy joining. Hey! Go to sleep. Oh, god fucking damn it. It's about comfort. You get it. Joker is a bit of a dick. A bit of a dick! A tiny, inty binty bit of a dick. He might be a dick. Fuck. Let's do it. He's a massive dick! He is a massive dick! There is something I have to know. There is something I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. Isn't this the part where we have to go to sleep? Yeah, we can't do much, can we? Let's do it. I'll save it here.
I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. I just have to know. I have to know. Nice. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. Wait, did he just tap her ass? I have to know. I have to know. Kuma multibus theory. Why the hell did he make four saves? Because I want to keep these for later. I might do these as a separate video if I have to. But I have to know something. Because he gets a text from Ryuji. And Ryuji asks him what is he going to say. And then he says, I love you Ryuji. But he never says anything. So I have to know something. It's still part of the canon route, but it's a minor branch in the canon route. I have to know. I have to know. I absolutely have to know. People that complain that Kuma makes too much saves. Have you ever played an RPG? I wish I could do this with my life. Kuma, wait, you're replaying Ryuji and not checking out Kawakami? I was about to head out. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. No thanks. What? This is not optional? They're basically throwing her at us at this point. I mean, he could search it up, to be honest, and then react to it. I could, but you can't always get it nicely. Sometimes... So no palace today? It's 2 p.m. I can't do a palace today. Oh my god, he just scrapped that. After finishing Persona 5, we should probably react to such events with different choices. Yes. But I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know what would happen if I picked one of the girls' names. I have to know. I must know. You have a girlfriend! I have a bombshell. Let's say I love Makoto. Cut it out, you idiot. Is that it? You're gonna ruin everything if you say stuff like that. Okay, give me back the Kuma I know. Wow. Um, excuse me. It made a sound like you affinity points you get for it. Wow! That's all that happens? You got points towards Makoto. That's all that happens? Damn! Just max confidence, it seems. Hmm. But if I said I love Anne, he probably doesn't know about the relationship, so nothing would happen. Oh, wow. So, the LP on the uh, gaming channel got here with a copyright, so I have to take care of that in order to progress it. It was the ending to Fataba's Palace. So, I'm trying to fight that copyright so I can get out Fataba's Palace and continue onwards 
we still need to get through next weekend's live streams in order to apply for our Twitch partnership. So don't forget, the upcoming Friday might be later than usual, but it might be delayed by an extra hour. But the upcoming Friday, we'll have a Persona 5 Royale live stream, Saturday and Sunday. So again, next weekend, three days of Persona 5 Royale. We should be able to get the palace, we should be able to get mementos, we should be able to complete the palace. So, I hope to see everyone there, because we'll apply for Twitch Partner as soon as that weekend is over. So we need the numbers to be as high as possible. Tonight was insane because we had over 150 people, which I really, really thank you for. But we're going to need you there next week as well. So make sure you write it down in your calendar. You don't forget. You put it in your little notification thing. You follow us. You enable notifications. You follow us on Discord because I do little, you know, uh, everyone come here. You know, I do the... Hey everyone, we're going live. So if you're not in Discord, scroll down, click join Discord and join. Or at the very least, follow on Twitter because I do a blast there. Alright, we can do a raid. I don't mind doing a raid. I don't mind doing a raid at all. We could see who we can raid. Seeing as the monkey's a little different, it might be something different this time for that too. It's a shame, but I guess go, go, go. Go, 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 go! Hey, there we go. <laughs> Mom? Die, frog! <laughs> now we just want. <gasps> oh, God! He hasn't noticed. We're being invaded! Ow, ow, ow! Oh my god, Big Brother! No! Fight him off, Big Brother! Fight him off! No! Fuck! Power. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hi. Uh, Ninja Kuma, I think you're the uh, the raid man. Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm playing through uh, some Shantae in the. All right, uh, settle down, guys. Settle down. Uh, seven, seven ladies. Six, seven sexy ladies. I, I, seven sages. So it's called. So let me seven, th seven sirens. That's it. Uh, welcome, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy your stay here. Big ones, keep fighting them off, all right? Fight them off as much as you can. Can't run now! Time for a lovely coup de grace. Here we go! I'll have the usual. Of course. What a I master! my soul into this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking monkey. <laughs> This is wrong at so many levels! 